What is going on, guys? Snickle here, and today I have another trophy talk for you. This is going to be for the week of April 16th, 2023, and it has been quite a successful last few weeks. I know that I haven't done this for a while. I've been caught up with a lot of things. Uh, the NBA playoffs have been going on and work has been crazy and it's just been there's been a lot of things happening so I I, I want to apologize for not putting these videos out every single week I, I do want to get into that and um, everything like that but anyway with all of that being said let's get into what I have been playing because again I have been making a lot of progress. So starting off, we have Hogwarts Legacy. Now, I did fully play through this game. I did finish the, ins the entire story mode, and I did do a majority of the collectibles and everything like that. The last thing that I need to do in order to get this platinum, which I've been waiting to do it on stream, is... I need to play through and do the map chamber for each of the houses, which I wanted to do that fully on stream. I know that takes around two to three hours in order to get to the map chamber for each house. So I want to do that. And then the last thing that I need to clean up in my, you know, uh, main game or base game where I'm going to get the platinum is I have one more side quest to do. I have a few more collectibles that I need to do, a few more beasts that I need to breed, and then spending the last talent point and reaching level 40, and then using ancient magic on every enemy in the game. So there's just a few random things, but all in all, um, this game has been going good. Now, I know that there's been issues with the collectibles and people getting that done. I haven't gotten the platinum yet, so I can't confirm if that's a thing or not, but... I do plan on doing this game or getting back to it at some point um, because I am essentially done it. It's probably going to be with the map chambers and everything. It's probably going to be another 10 hours or so in order to get this game platinumed. But uh, all in all, I'm I'm basically there. I just need to play it. But uh, I really enjoyed the game. And so far, it's definitely been one of my favorite games of the year. Then up next, we have Tom Clancy's Hawks 2, which Brian and I were playing, and uh, we had fully finished up the multiplayer. We had played through the single player uh, back in, uh, what was it, like August or something like that. So we had fully played through and done everything, and we had grinded out the multiplayer. And the last thing that I had to do in order to get this platinum was I needed to fully master 15 planes, and I needed to reach the maximum level, which was level 50. It really was not that bad, honestly. I would say that Hawks 1, the grind in Hawks 1 was definitely harder than Hawks 2. The only thing that I found to be somewhat annoying when I was finishing it up was going for the 15 masteries right here. There is way more than 15 planes in the game, but the way that you can get XP, there's like a very specific way or a very specific mission that you can play on in order to get XP extremely fast. Like you can master planes in like 20 to 30 minutes. It's very, very fast compared to like playing in the multiplayer, or doing it, you know, you know, playing through missions and stuff like that. It can take hours. This can take 20 to 30 minutes, which I do appreciate that in games. I like when there is a way that you can, you know, play the game quote unquote legitimately or play through and, and you can get that stuff if you want to but there's also a faster way to do it for people like trophy hunters where we just want to get it done and we want to move on um so the only thing with that is you needed a plane that had a good air to ground uh, or they had it had good air to ground weapons and you needed one weapon in particular i don't remember the name of it but you needed that one weapon in particular and some planes just didn't have it and you're not allowed to have a custom loadout until a plane gets to a certain level it might actually be mastery for a lot of them so you can't actually customize what weapons the plane is using until you've mastered it which kind of defeats the purpose of going for the mastery so there's only certain select planes that you can use that make it kind of easy to level up because you need that one specific weapon in order to get the air to ground uh, combat i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but if someone said it i'd be like yeah absolutely that's it um but that didn't take too long. Um, I had a few planes that were already mastered. Before I started going for it, I probably had about five or six planes that I had already mastered. So it wasn't that much of a grind to get through. And then by the time you master all the planes, you're going to get level 50. So those kind of come hand in hand. Um, and then the last thing I had to do in order to get the platinum was I had to do the, uh, where is it? Flying without an assist for an hour or so. Uh, you had to fly for 60 minutes with assistance off, and you had to fly faster than Mach 2 for 60 minutes in story mode. 
Now, both of these trophies, you can see right here, both of these trophies are ultra rare. So flying 60 minutes with assistance off is a 4% and Mach 2 for 60 minutes is 2.2%. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, Snickle, in Hawks 1, it really wasn't that hard. You could do chapter select. You could click any plane you wanted to do. It, it really wasn't that hard. Uh, you would be right if the game wasn't broken. So it is kind of broken and it will not actually count these minutes in chapter select. So you have to start an entire new game in order to get these trophies. Now, with the 60 minutes with assistance off, that's fairly easy to get if you just play through the game naturally and you kind of know how to do it while you're playing through. I actually like flying with the assistance off once I started using it in Hawks 1. So uh, if I had played uh, Hawks 2 after Hawks 1, which I we played it opposite, um, I definitely would have gotten that trophy legitimately just playing through the game. And the way you turn assistance off is you double tap like L2 or R2 and you get like that zoomed out view. That's really not that hard to get. The one that's really annoying is the Mach 2 for 60 minutes because just like in Hawks 1, there's only certain planes that will hit Mach 2. And since you can't use chapter select in order to get this, that means you have to use the planes that are given to you in the story mode in order to reach Mach 2. Now, luckily, I think it's the second mission in the game. They do give you a plane that can reach Mach 2 and you're able to get it. And that's where I grinded it out for myself. But let me tell you, it takes longer than 60 minutes because unlike in Hawks 1 where you can pick a plane and you can stay in Mach 2 for the whole 60 minutes in Hawks or did I say Hawks 1 I don't really know in Hawks 1 <laughs> you can pick a plane and fly in any direction and you will stay way above Mach 2 in Hawks 2 you cannot do that because again you have to use that specific plane and that specific plane in the second mission will get to Mach 2 once you've been flying for a decent amount of time, it doesn't like immediately get up to Mach 2. So if you're flying like diagonal to diagonal on the map, because that's the farthest distance that you can fly, um, you will barely reach Mach 2 like halfway through that distance. So it's going to take you probably like an hour and a half to two hours in order to get it. And you can't like turn while you're doing it as well, because the plane that you use will barely get to Mach 2. So any sort of movement or anything like that will lower it below Mach 2. So it's really annoying but it's not the end of the world and it's actually not that hard of a grind so anyway finished up hawks 2 that gets me done hawks 1 and hawks 2 which is getting me done all of the airplane games if you want to say uh there's not a lot of airplane games honestly there's hawks there's um air conflicts there's um ace combat which ace combat i think is like the only one that i need to do now well i need a platinum air conflicts on the ps4 but you know we got the multiplayer done, which basically means the game is done. You know, that, that basically means the Platinum's done. Um, but yeah, Hawks 1 and Hawks 2 are both done, which uh, that's been, you know, years in the making. So thanks to Brian and everybody uh, for helping out with that and uh, sticking around for the live streams, because I know that they were super, super boring just flying back and forth. All right. And then up next, we have Madden 19. So I had been doing Madden 18 and Madden 19 because the servers for these two games were going down. And as of recording this, which is in April, the servers uh, have gone down. I believe they went down at the end of March. I don't really remember. They, they're they they're not up anymore. Uh, you can see right here that there's five unobtainable trophies uh, for this list. And the unobtainable ones are all the ultimate teams. So it's this one, this one, this one, this one. And I think that's it. One, two, three, four. Why does it say there's five? Oh, I guess the platinum. It, gets, it counts the platinum as well. So, yeah. Um, all I had to do in Madden 19, so I had done all that. I had done all the other stuff. The only thing I had to do in Madden 19 to finish up was I had to, I think I had finished up the, uh, the single player. So we had finished that. And then all I had to do in order to get the platinum was I needed to do the full set trophy, which is essentially to get a win with every single one of the 32 NFL teams, which just like in Madden 18, this trophy is glitched. If you try to go for it legitimately and get a win with all of the 32 NFL teams, just normally it doesn't count. So you have to do some weird workaround where you delete your save, you load the game up in offline mode, you can um, you can super sim through every single team, and then when you get to the last team that you're going to get a win as, you have to play the game and you have to win and something like that. So it's really annoying, but it does work. I've done it two out of two times, and it's been successful 100% of the times. I know that's a very small field to pull from, but, you know, it'd it be working, you know, it'd it be doing its thing. I don't know if Madden 20 has a trophy like that. We can actually check right now, but uh, that gets me up to date on all the Maddens that are at least going down. Um, let's see. So full. 
No, okay, doesn't exist. All right, cool. Uh, I love that. But yeah, um, that gets all of the Maddens that were going down, which was uh, 18 and 19. 20 hasn't been, uh, you know, posted about going down anytime soon. But 20 is the last one that's specifically on last gen. So uh, this game, along with another series, I'm going to be focusing on going back and forth. But I'm going to be focusing on the PS4 versions of those games and then eventually the PS5 versions. But Madden 19 is platinumed. Great to have done. Then up next, we have a game called Wolong Fallen Dynasty. This uh, just came out, actually. If you guys haven't played it, you should definitely go and pick it up because it's a lot of fun. So it's made by Team Ninja, which I believe these are the same guys that made Neo. And well, they've made a lot of games, but they made Neo. And I have always been interested in playing Neo, but I just never got around to it. So I was browsing around on the internet uh, a few weeks back or a few months back, and I saw that this game called Wo Long Fallen Dynasty was coming out, and I was like, this looks kind of interesting. And I've kind of been craving playing a Soulsborne style game, so I was like, this is perfect. Because um, I know like Neo and Neo 2, they're Soulsborne, or they're, they kind of work like that, but they have their own twists and they have their own quirks to it. And I will say that Wo Long has that, and I really, really enjoy that. It really forces you, the levels are kind of segmented. You kind of have like a, uh, kind of takes you from battlefield to battlefield. That's what they call them. But you can go back to other battlefields, but it doesn't save like any of your, you know, progress when you go back. So you kind of have to start from scratch, which is a little bit annoying, but I understand why they do it. And as you're working your way through the battlefields to get to the final boss, you can find things along there that will help you to gain levels because enemies will have levels on them. The bosses will be level 20 and you need to find like marking flags and battle flags. And you can find other sorts of collectibles like tablets and, and uh, dragon vein stuff and or, or dragon crystal stuff. You can find all this, this stuff that will help you to uh, level up the things that heal you and things like that. So uh, it really it really forces you to explore, which I can really appreciate in a game like this, because most of the time when people play Soulsborne games, they kind of just run through them because it's like, I, I can get to the, I just want to beeline it to the boss. And if you do that in this game, you will uh, get your ass kicked when you get to the boss. So you, you kind of need to explore. And once you learn the game and you learn the mechanics and everything, it's really, really fun and really enjoyable. Uh, right now, I am uploading a full collectible guide on Trophy Hunters Gaming. So if you want to play through the game or you're playing through it and you need help finding marking flags, or any of the collectibles throughout the game, uh, you can find it on Trophy Hunters Gaming, which is linked down in the description below. I think I still have like 15 more <laughs> videos to put up, but uh, I am doing all the main battlefields and the sub battlefields. So I'm doing absolutely everything in the game to help you uh, get through it if you want to. But all in all, I really, really, really did enjoy the game. You're going to kind of like, I don't want to say you're going to get your ass kicked, but... Just like any Soulsborne game, you kind of need to learn the mechanics, you need to learn how fast it is, you need to learn when and like if you need to dodge early or late or anything like that. Just kind of get to know the game. You're you you're you might pick it up and you might be a pro, but you do need to kind of learn it. And I do like the whole um I don't it's not called stamina. Oh man. I like the whole like a mechanic that they use where like you can kind of whittle down somebody's like I I'll call it stamina and then you can do like a, a kill shot on them um, that's really really cool so I, I really like every single aspect of this game the only thing I'll say that I don't really like is that I felt like the game was like super long in a way um, I don't know the time on it but like it says I think it says that the game had of course it won't show me because I've already or in the trophy, but I think there was a total of 56 uh, battlefields and sub battlefields, um, which a few of them are just really fast. You just go in and you do like one boss fight and you're done. But like that could also be a pain in the ass because you, you could get your ass kicked from that. But uh, yeah, I really, really did enjoy the game. And I have to say, if you guys haven't played it and you haven't played like Neo or anything like that, then I would suggest to pick this up. It was a lot of fun. It was kind of like weird following the story at first because I didn't really know what the fuck was going on. They really don't explain anything to you. You kind of have to like pick it up as you're going along. But uh, basically, all you need to know is uh, there's demons. <laughs> There's demonic forces and stuff like that, um, and that's essentially what you're fighting. So it's it's really cool, really fun game. Now, the only thing I have left for the Platinum is I need to do two random trophies, which I'm not even going to make trophy guides on because they're pretty self-explanatory uh, for the most part. Um, so I need to uh, repel 
this person in a certain mission and I need to save uh, captured hermits in another mission. So um, I can easily do that on stream. But uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed this game kind of came out of nowhere. It was kind of like a bridging point for me to like get from Hogwarts to like Star Wars. I knew that there was going to be like a little bit of a gap in between there. Uh, and I probably should have been playing my backlog and not new games. But, you know, it, it be what it be. But that is basically done. Um, I need to get that platinumed on stream but we'll talk about upcoming games uh soon and then last game we have that i've been playing is ea sports pga tour which came out i think a few weeks ago uh it came out on the 7th so yeah it came out a few weeks ago and uh you guys know me i love my golf games and i've really 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 been enjoying this game i've been having a lot of fun with this game and uh i'm just playing through and i'm having fun right now i think i could blast through and get this done pretty fast if i wanted to but for the most part for the time being i'm just playing and having fun and uh it, it's a blast it's really a blast it's not really that hard to do you do need to get used to the game a little bit but you can see up here that there's a lot of trophies that are like ultra rares and stuff and i think it's mainly because people just aren't playing the game it has 330 game owners with 15 platinum achievers so like nobody's playing the game um but yeah i it, it's really really enjoyable I, I like golf games so and i like playing golf so of course i'm gonna like it <laughs> but uh anyway yeah that's what i've been playing the, the the last few weeks a majority of my time has been going to will long because i've been trying to play through get all those guides done and everything and it's just been kind of not really a slog, but it's it's kind of the same way that I felt with like God of War Ragnarok, where it was like I played through and I was like, okay, time to do the collectibles. And I started doing collectibles and I was like, there's a lot of collectibles, <laughs> even though Wolong doesn't have as much as God of War. It it kind of felt somewhat that way. And, and uh, but you know what? We're getting it done. I enjoy doing collectible guides and we're moving on to the next thing. So uh, anyway, what do I plan on playing in the upcoming week? So this is going to be interesting because I didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, but there are a few games that are going down um, that are published by Electronic Arts on the PlayStation 3. So the big ones are uh, Battlefield. So Battlefield Bad Company 1 and Battlefield Bad Company 2 are going down. I don't know the exact dates. If you guys know the exact dates, you can put them down in the um, comments below. But I don't remember the exact dates off the top of my head. Now, I've already done Bad Company 2, so I'm not worried about that. Bad Company 1, I always told myself, like, that would be, like, the last game on the PS3 that I would ever boost. But also, like, if it's the last time to do it, like, maybe it's now or never. I'm not really sure. Um, plus, I also worry because that game has really, really, really funky servers. And if too many people are playing, the entire game crashes. So that also worries me as well because if if everybody's trying to do it and the game's servers are just crashing nonstop, then, like, I don't know if I want to deal with that. So we'll, we'll see. Um but the other there, I think there's a few other games going down, but the game that I'm only the game that I'm interested in and the only game that I'm interested in that's going down is a game called Syndicate on the PlayStation 3. And I'm going to be starting this, I think, this upcoming week. So uh, it's not really that hard of a game. I've wanted to do it for a decent amount of time, but I think basically you just have to play through and do certain things and, and stuff like that and do contracts or something. I don't know. It's something like that. It's not that hard. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be playing this in the upcoming week. Uh, I was going to actually start this, start playing through the single player in this before I started playing PGA Tour, but I started playing PGA Tour and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I'm just playing PGA Tour, but we, we might throw Syndicate in there. Um, we might, but um, I'm going to be playing that. That's a little bit of a random game. Obviously, it'll be going to be playing e, uh, EA Sports PGA Tour as well. I don't like how this doesn't have a year. Like, I wish it was PGA Tour, like, ti like they did it like Tiger Woods back in like PGA Tour 2023 or something. Like, it's it's really weird. It's or, or PGA Tour 23. I, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. Um, the other thing that <laughs> the other thing that I'm really this is this is super super random but the other thing that I'm really interested in is Madden. So if you guys don't know Madden is up to Madden 23 right now and they're going to be putting out Madden 24 this upcoming year. But if you guys don't remember back in 2014, they didn't call Madden 2014. They didn't call it Madden 14, which they've done for the longest time ever. They called it Madden 25 because it was the 25th anniversary of the game. I don't know why they just didn't call it 
Madden 14 25th anniversary. Um, I'm not really sure. But anyway, it goes Madden 13, Madden 25, Madden 15. There's no Madden 14. So I'm really, um, I'm going to be intrigued to see whenever um, Madden 25, actually 25 comes around, if they're going to call it 25 or if they're going to change the the naming and numbering of it when that happens. But uh, that's just uh, some, some weird thoughts that I've been thinking. So, uh, yeah, sorry, S- completely sidetracked. Apologize. Um, I'm planning on playing Syndicate. That's going to be my next like bigger focus. Um, obviously, like I said, PGA Tour. And then a few other games that I want to uh, play on stream and I want to get done because I've started them and I just haven't finished them is going back quite a way. But I want to get done. I want to go back and I want to get done Knack. I also want to get done where am I at? Hitman 2016. And I would also like to get done um, Hogwarts and Woe Long, all of those on stream. And then there's a few other games that I want to play, but like I uh, we'll see what happens. Like I've been talking about Dirt Rally 2.0 for the longest time. And then obviously, like I said, like I've said time and time again, playing like Anthem on stream. There's a lot of games that I do want to get back to and I do want to finish. Uh, but for the most part, I'm trying to just focus on one game at a time, playing through that game and like not really getting off you know, we're moving to another game until I finish. I've been trying to stay like really, really, really focused on one game at a time. Another game that I was going to start playing, but then the Syndicate stuff happened, so I'll probably play it after Syndicate, is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. If you guys don't know, there was an issue with Assassin's Creed 4 with the sharing is carrying trophy, and it was it was shown as unobtainable a while back, but Um, It's now shown as obtainable because people are earning it. There's a really weird workaround in order to get it. So I will be doing that if uh, when I get around to it, I've put in complaints to Ubisoft. So if you guys haven't already, can you go say a word to Ubisoft and tell them to fix their shit? Because, um, yeah, I I do want to get this done, but I am going to focus on playing through this game. And obviously, when I play through it, I will be doing a 100 percent sync guide and everything like that on Trophy Owners Gaming. But um yeah, this was going to be my focus until Syndicate, but now Syndicate will be my focus, and then, yeah. Also, coming out in, I believe, two weeks is the new Star Wars game. I am definitely going to be... I think I pre-ordered that. I'm not really sure. I'm going to be getting that day one or close to day one. I don't know if I'll be playing at day one just because if I'm playing something at the time, I do want to finish it up. Um, I've been doing that with a lot of games recently where like, if I'm trying to play something, I want to finish it up and I don't want to play the new game day one. So I do kind of push it off a little bit, which is fine with me. I don't really care about playing a game day one. But uh, yeah, that will be coming up as well. And then there's not really anything else coming out new in the up coming months the only new game that's going to be coming out over the summer or after the summer or anything for the rest of the year that i'm somewhat interested in is obviously the new assassin's creed any new assassin's creed that comes out and then also skull and bones if that ends up even coming out this year i have no idea so what i plan on doing when i get done playing star wars or a new game is um until those come out is i am going to be hitting the backlog hard there's a lot of games that i want to play on the ps3 there's a lot of games that i want to play in general and backlog and everything like that so i'm going to be trying to smash the backlog hard over the summer and going into the fall that is my main goal playing through as many games as possible and getting a lot of things done regardless of what it is i do want to get it done Um, And then there's a few other things that I want to do moving forward as well, which I'll probably tie into the backlog, even though they won't they're not on my list yet, uh, or one of them isn't on my list, I'm going to be playing them and that is going to be MLB the show 20 and then Madden 20 because if you guys remember, I'm going to be swapping back and forth between um, MLB and Madden. If you know anything about these games, they're not really difficult, especially the new MLB games. They can be done in like a day or two. So it's not like I'm going to be sweating super hard or I'm going to be playing these games for an extensive amount of time. We'll be able to get through them kind of fast and we can add them into the backlog and kind of move back and forth. I am also going to not be neglecting the Hitman Star Wars franchise rotation. Um, I should be done hitman 2016 but it'll work out good because i want to 100 hitman 2016 and i'll probably do that before i start playing the new star wars game so it won't take us off i've been this a big brain move here but it won't be taking me off the the hitman star wars rotation because we'll be getting hit done hitman 2016 to go into the new star wars even though that's not how i had it planned it'll be working that way so don't 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 think i didn't think of that because i did think of that (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, um, 
I know that that's a lot of games and that's a lot of stuff moving forward. But like I said, I've really been trying to focus on one game at a time. I have also been like focusing, like I've been laser focused on one game. And then once I kind of get to a point and I'm ready to like get the platinum, I kind of shove it to the side uh, to stream it. And I haven't been streaming in like three weeks or something like that, because again, shit has just been absolutely crazy. But I do want to maybe stream, um, today the day that this is being uploaded or a few times this week and try to get some games done like hogwarts and Wo long and maybe hitman i don't know i want to try to get some things done but um yeah we're, i'm going to be trying to to really get through this backlog get through some games and get some stuff done because there's a lot of stuff that i want to play and uh like i said i want to focus this is kind of like off to the side but like i've Ever since the the Assassin's Creed Four thing happened, and it kind of like scared me into like, wow, like that. If that if I can't get that trophy, which like I'm gonna do anything I can to get that trophy, because Assassin's Creed Four, I'm not gonna let one game blue ball me into platinuming and 100%ing the entire series, every stack in in the entire series. So um, that kind of made me think about like also doing like essentially anything on the PS3 or the PS TV that needs to be done that I want to do that like it, um, examples of that would be like Need for Speed Rivals or like talking about Need for Speed Need for Speed Most Wanted on the PS TV or like Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor on the PS3 even though like that game is not tied to online in any way I don't think like I want to do games like that and I want to get stuff done on the PS3 so I'm going to be trying to focus pretty hard on the ps3 like i said in the summer and in the fall until like skull and bones comes out or anything like that i, I don't really want to focus too much on new games uh i i want to really focus on the backlog and getting through the backlog during that time so anyway that's what i've been playing that's what i plan on playing i know it's been a few weeks again i do want to apologize um i do want to get these out every week regardless of progress that i make just to talk about games and stuff like that but it's just been crazy. It's just been absolutely crazy. If you guys did make it this far, down in the comments below, leave me, um, say, um, say, um, I don't even know. Blueberries are the best. That's really stupid, but but say that. Leave that down in the comments below if you've if you've made it this far. Um, and also, let me know down in the comments below what progress you guys have been making, what games you've been getting through, any Platinums that you've gotten, any games that you're looking forward to, anything like that. I love to read everybody's progress and things that they've done down in the comments below. It, 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 it does more or less inspire me. I mean, I try to inspire other people to get through games by telling you guys my progress, but when you guys tell me your progress... It also inspires me to keep going. So it's kind of like a, uh, a give and a take on both of our sides, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, let me know all your progress down in the comments below. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff. My Twitter, my Twitch, platinum trophies I've gotten over the years. Other YouTube channels, uh, mainly Trophy Hunters Gaming, where I'm uploading all of my trophy guides now. Uh, so if you want to go follow me on anything at all, that is all linked down in the description below. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Again, let me know what you guys have been playing down in the comments below and consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification to stay up to date on all of my new uploads if you enjoy trophy content like this anyway i hope to see you all around sometime soon